Hi, hello, it's Gonzalo here from Rencap. If you're watching this video, you have likely previously experienced the process of managing multiple surveys for all of your projects. These are surveys such as asbestos, ecology, utilities, topo, land contamination, geotechnical, and many, many more. It's a very uh, clumbersome process and hard to manage. Where here at Rencap, we're going to show you how we've absolutely streamlined that process and how you can benefit from that. This video will basically be split into three parts. Part one will show you how you can upload a site onto our platform, instantly get three prices from lots of vetted surveyors, and select which surveyor you would like to instruct. Part two will be all about managing those surveyors on site, so arranging site visits, capturing health and safety documents, and making sure you can track the deadline and, and when they're going to produce their reports. And part three is all about once they've delivered their reports, you'll be able to see an analysis, see a risk register with a summary of, of all the recommendations, what the next steps are, which surveys are green, good to go, which is brilliant, and which surveys have some sort of next step or recommendation associated to them. So let's get to it. First thing you would do is you come to the RenCap platform. So this is, the, this is the platform. This is your dashboard as a client. So clients have this version and also suppliers have also a version like this. So they can also see lots of all the projects that are coming in. But basically what you would do is you would come in and if you have a project, then you would just upload your site. So you would click here, upload site. There's a video guide there to explain how it all works and how to upload your site. I'll give you a quick overview now, but you can dive into that. It's on our YouTube channels as well. So click upload site and then you start putting the details of that site in. So let's say whatever it might be, say site one, uh, postcode, what three word location. So we use what three words to, to pinpoint the exact location of the entrance of the site. You can do that by clicking this link, super easy, and it pinpoints it. So as soon as we've done that, you'll now see that there's a map with your location of your site. And then something really important is we always um, recommend that you put the name of who you would like the client to be referenced in a report. Sometimes an architect, a project manager, a consultant is doing this on behalf of a client. So we always recommend you put the end client in there. So the person who the report should be named after. So let's say whatever it might be, client one. And then you just go through the process, continue. And it asks lots more questions. So is the site open to the public? If, um, if yes, then great, nice and easy to access. If not, then we need all the contact details of the people that need to be um, need to provide access. Lots more questions, as you can see here. I'm not going to dive into the whole thing, but you can see that in a separate video. And essentially, this gives us all the information that we need in order to provide the surveyors with uh, the full picture of the site to provide their quotes. So that process of uploading your site takes about 10 minutes. Once you've done it, then you can go, go to your site, go access it. For example, this one, let's say James Test, you click on that one and this is what you will see. So you instantly get a tender report with multiple prices for every single survey, giving you comparative competitive quotes. All of these costs are provided on best practice scope of services. So RICS best practice scope of services from vetted surveyors that have passed a very thorough pre-qualification process on our platform. So they've all got the right insurances, training, capabilities, certification to be on our system. Then what you would do is you just look through these, decide which surveys you need. You might not need all of them right now. You might only need a few. So what you would do, let's say you only need a few surveys, you would just select on that survey. So let's say archeology span survey, select. And then here it shows you actually all of our surveyors. This is just dummy data for, for demo purposes, but you'll be able to see all of our surveyors, their rating, the cost per survey, how long it'll take for their reports to be delivered, and then you just select whichever one you prefer, add them to the add them to the checkout, as you can see there, and it's as easy as that. Then you select the next one you need. So for example, ecology, you look at the surveyors, decide on which one you would like to progress with, potentially based on cost, time, and ratings. Add the next one, it gets added to checkout, and that's that's essentially the process. So then you would continue, let's say topographical survey. You go through the process, you add this surveyor. And the great thing is once you've selected surveyors through this process, you can go back to the tender report and it highlights the one that you recommended, which is really handy if you wanna print this out and share it with your client or share it with your boss to demonstrate the costs on the project. 
and you can even if you're not instructing the project you can also use this data to um to determine kind of a budget for future surveys later on so it's really helpful once you've done this and you've got um, and you're ready to instruct you go to the checkout click checkout and there you go you can instruct all the surveyors all in one go in one click so instead of having multiple contracts and multiple payments through our platform through the rank platform there's one terms and conditions all of our surveyors have abided by our standard terms and conditions so one contract and one payment and then we distribute all the funds to all the separate surveyors once you're happy with the report so once you've approved their reports that's when we'll pay them brilliant so once you instruct the surveyors what happens is that site will now move to the live stage so the project is live which is part two which i was referencing earlier so now surveyors are instructed they're going to go do their works they might need to go attend site and do a site visit if they need to do a site visit then they need to agree the site visit date with the client and also provide their health and safety doc documents so the it's called the risk assessment and method statements the rams we make sure that's all provided through the platform so our surveyors can't progress until they've given you multiple options of dates that they can go on site and also their health and safety documents you can then go in you'll get a notification you can click on that site and then you'll see that you what you need to do you might need to for example select let's go to this asbestos one for example you might need to confirm the site visit dates or you might need to agree the the health and safety documents and approve them and as a pro project progresses and they do their reports they will upload their reports onto this system so you've got a timeline here of showing you kind of how the project progressing you know when the deadlines are you can track progress all that sort of stuff by clicking on any of the surveys and as soon as a report's uploaded you'll see it here and for example you can see this this report here the asbestos survey has been uploaded and you can approve it request changes whatever you need to do as soon as you approve it that's when we know that you're happy for us to to instruct once you've done that the project will then move to complete so this is stage three so once the once the surveys have all been received stage three is helping you with the analysis process so you would then click on your completed project and you essentially you 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 get access to a risk register uh, a digital risk register so all the outcomes of all the surveys you can see here and you can click on any of them and you can download the report it's all available on the cloud so all of these surveys you can access them here and then at the top if there's a recommendation on a survey for additional work or because there's some sort of risk has been identified then it highlights it here in the recommendation section in amber and you can then click on that survey so for example ecology survey click on that you can download that report and read it yourselves which we always recommend read all the reports very important um, but what you can see here is our surveyor has pulled out that the key recommendation is that you now need a bat survey on that project and it's going to take one day it's going to cost 1800 and they've explained why you need it on that specific project and in order to complete it all you would do now is you click instruct recommendation and then again it goes into the checkout and you've got a, very, a similar checkout to la last time and now you as soon as you pay that the surveyors will start doing their works and then the goal here is that when you instruct a recommendation hopefully that that survey gets done so the bat survey it'll come back ideally as green everything's fine we can progress and what that would mean is that the whole ecology line will now move down to the green section which reduces the risk on the project so this is all about highlighting the risks early reducing them at the outset as much as possible we're the first platform of its kind to do this we are also an approved supplier on government frameworks such as g cloud and the tfl framework so if it's a public sector project that you've got then no problem if it's a private sector project then you just know it's all been done best practice which is wonderful also we have 91 percent renewal rates from our existing customers which is excellent and if you want to see those testimonials then go on our website and you can see them all there if you're ready to try us out for yourselves then all you got to do is sign up on the free plan completely free access upload a site and instantly get multiple prices for your surveys there's only a commitment once you're happy to instruct the surveys so there's no commitment up until that point so feel free to sign up upload a site test it out for yourselves 
Additionally, if you have any more questions or you want to have a conversation with, with one of our colleagues, then please feel free to book a call with our team. Thank you for watching.